guys. Would you believe it if I told you my 60 day challenge is over? It went by pretty fast. Um, it also just ate up a lot of my time. So I really wasn't making videos as often as I had planned to like update on how the challenge was going and all that. But it definitely was um, pretty life changing for me. <laughs> Um, I don't think I've ever gone that long without drinking. I don't think I've ever, I know I've never been on like a strict diet for that many days in a row without cheating on it. Um, so overall I just feel more disciplined and more ready to accomplish my goals and all that. And actually, um... It was technically over February 29th, and I've still worked out every day since then. And I'm, I did cheat on my diet once and have a couple glasses of wine one that one day, but um, I'm basically still going to stick to the diet, which is maybe like a cheat day a week or a cheat meal a week, um, because I did lose 10 pounds and. I, it wasn't like my main goal, although I was hoping that would happen. <laughs> it's not why, it is not why I joined the challenge, but I was hoping I would lose a little bit of weight. Um, but even though I was on a pretty strict diet, I was still eating a lot and I was eating pretty high calorie foods like cheese, nuts and things like that. I was not counting my calories. So between that and like, the I wasn't doing like the hardest workouts ever. I used to be a lot more athletic and in better shape when I was younger. So like a lot of days I was just right, like riding the bike or the elliptical in front of my TV. So I did not expect to necessarily lose weight because I didn't know if I was eating too many calories. And there were some nights where I was just so hungry. I was just eating and eating and eating. But the good news is even with all that, I still was able to lose weight, so I figured why not go, you know, longer and get into even better shape. But what I'm happiest about is the feeling that I can change my habits and I can accomplish a goal, you know? Because it's definitely hard to make those changes and to let go of things that you really love for that long. So, hey, is there anything that you want to change any habit you want to break, you know, you can do it. You don't have to do it all at once either, but pick one thing and pick, you know, a time limit and commit to yourself. Don't give up on yourself. That's, I think, the biggest thing I learned. That instead of just saying I'm going to do something and then giving in a few days later because there's no one to hold me accountable but me, I can really commit to myself and say that I'm not going to give up on myself and that that's enough, that I can hold myself accountable. Yay! If you like this video, follow me on Facebook and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Have a good night. See you in the, in the next video.